guys, welcome to day 20 of Shoe of the Day. Shoe of the Day. Hi guys and welcome to Super Sunday and it's a happy Easter to you guys. I um, hope you're having a good day and eating loads of chocolate. Probably the only day that kids get the excuse to have chocolate for breakfast. Um, Freya gave up chocolate for Lent so she had 40 days and 40 nights without chocolate or sweets. Um, but thank goodness she's now able to eat chocolate. We're grateful for that in this family. <laughs> anyway, she's enjoying her chocolate now and she did really well, so that's brilliant. So, today I've got four shoes for you with a kind of um, Easter kind of spring theme. So, let's dive on in and see the first pair of shoes. So, these for irregular choice are quite simple. Um, but I just really loved them. Um, they're just like a cotton fabric and they've got black stars on them. So I love that because there's a bit of a bowie connection with black stars. So I, I love that for just that. Obviously not, I don't think it was Dan's intention, but um, I just love that. And they've got the little rabbits, um, just with little bows. And I just think it's such a cute fabric and it's got the mint and cream stripes and it's edged in this um, red and white polka dot fabric which again I love and it's just got the little dolly shoe strap with the little little gingham button there and all there is on the side of this you've got the three little bunny buttons in different colours and a block heel and I do wear these a lot. They've got um, the bunny design on the sole as well, matching the fabric. Very simple shoe and very um, understated for irregular choice. But I love it and I love it being part of my collection. And then we start going more and more bizarre as we go on. So that's the simple shoe. So we'll drop that one. The next one I've got is called Blossom Bunny. And these are the shoes and they're just a beautiful beautiful fabric it's like shot silk uh, pink bright bright pink and it's got these beautiful embroidered floral mo motifs um and then it's got the flowers here um the blossom and then you come up to this beautiful fan which is in this gold fabric. Um, again, it's got this iridescence about it. Then it's got the cherry blossom embroidery. And then the handle of the fan is in this red glitter. Tea bar, love a tea bar. And that's the strap. Even the straps, you know, lined with this fabric. And the edges are with these scalloped green metallic edges. And if you come to the back of the shoe, You've got this beautiful bow with red tassels and gold finials there. Just so girly and, and romantic. And the heel is the Perspex heel, which has this blue kind of match into the bow coming down into the Perspex heel, which you've seen before. Um, now, the other shoe to this doesn't have a fan on. I'll show you what this one has. And this has a bunny. So the bunny is in a kimono. And the kimono is in this like um, shiny blue material. And the belt is sparkly. Beautiful bunny there. And they've got the flowers and leaves in their hair. And, you know, obviously it's... An oriental theme to the shoe and um, I've been to Japan and I love Japan I, I thought it was an amazing place an amazingly different place Um, you know all about the modern and the traditional and I suppose these shoes kind of remind me of of that trip Um, and as you can see it goes this pink to kind of orangey I don't know if you can see that but you know the fact that they are different on each shoe 
but keeping with the oriental theme i just think is so gorgeous it's not matched at the front again i love that they're irregular that's what they're meant to be and so they're called blossom bunny beautiful shoes very romantic girly shoes so the next shoe i'm going to show you is this one now this one reminds me of spring and when you're going for those picnics so you can see it's got the red gingham almost like the tablecloth and then you've got this little organza frill going around the edge so not a scalloped edge this time we've got the frill and then we've got this lovely bow on the front and the bow is this or see-through organza and all the little there's like flowers in there there's pearls there's beads and they're all loose they can move about so just a different dimension to your bow they tried to do something oh, let's do something slightly different then you've got this beautiful 3d butterfly with you know these gorgeous wings absolutely stunning then you come down the side of the shoe there's all the spring flowers embroidered how beautiful is that daisies and just evokes like a meadow so you're sitting in this meadow having the picnic on your your tablecloth and you know the butterflies are flying around and it just gives you that feeling and then you've got this yellow leather at the back with the scalloped edge now what could the heel be dun 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 spring lamb now i know this heel is a heel that some people love and some people hate and i can understand why people don't like it like georgia at my work doesn't particularly like this heel and i can understand that because what they've chosen is like a 50s kitsch lamb so you know you might remember you know these kind of 50s ornaments and they kind of looked like this now as you know I, I like a bit of kitsch so it appealed to my kitsch side but I can understand how people don't like this one because you know they're not into that kind of look um, it's a very low character heel so really wearable a good base so it feels more like a wedge and I've worn these a lot I really enjoy wearing these they're a happy shoe um, these are called famalam um, and I absolutely love these so let me know what you think about the lamb but I think the lamb's adorable but I can understand why people don't like it so I'll go on to the last shoe and the last shoe quite glamorous actually I think so this is in this mesh you can maybe see the mesh um underneath and it's embroidered with almost like a paisley pattern and then you've got these goldy bronze beads and then little diamantes all over the surface just picking out the detail and you've got this leather bow it's a double bow um and it's got this kind of oil on water sheen to it as i say a really quite glamorous shoe it's got the scalloped edge in the leather and you go around to the back and again it's this leather with the scalloped edging at the back so what could be the heel on this one dun, 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 dun. and it is a rabbit so this is like it reminds me of those you know like the gummy bears and um, that's what this shoe reminds me of so this is like a gummy rabbit and it's a full 3d um rabbit so you've got the thing that denotes the tail at the back and oh just a wee polka dot ribbon love a polka dot and again they are quite high but you don't feel that high because there's a hidden platform in there it's a very broad base so again you feel like you're wearing a wedge you've got the bunny soles and i just think that is so darn cute let's have a look at his face and it's just so adorable um really glamorous shoe to wear and 
I thought good for the Easter collection that I've brought for you today. So that's the end of the shoes today. I do hope that you have a fantastic Easter. I know we're all kind of stuck in, but I hope that you do have a lovely Easter and you get to share your chocolate eggs and, uh, you know, we've got things to look forward to. So I'll see you tomorrow for day 21. Can you believe we've done three, nearly three weeks of Shoe of the Day? So I'll see you tomorrow, guys, for Shoe of the Day. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.